Hi, welcome back. See, once uh, truck is arranged, if you have done uh, uh, what I would say, truck or different mode of transport, based on that, if once you have created shipment document, okay, and the next immediate step is, step is shipment cost calculation. Why we require shipment cost calculation? Suppose if we arranged a vendor, okay, external driver is there, and uh, or else you are uh, tied up with. Uh, multinational MNC based on the location you have tied up with the external vendors. So shipment cost for arranging the vehicle and for uh, for giving the time, okay? Uh, shipment cost calculation will happen, okay? So then shipment document and shipment cost document, both are interlinked, okay? For shipment cost document, this preceding document is shipment document. Without delivery, no one is going to create the cost actually, okay? So if you see this, in this example, for example, shipment, shipment cost, it is calculated 2.314 euros, okay? This cost we will assign to an account, okay? This is a FI, MM, and SD integration again. Transfer shipment cost, we'll transfer the cost and we'll settle the cost to the respective vendor actually. If you see shipment cost document, calculate the shipment cost, assign the cost to fi shipment cost document basically it is like a mirror how you are did uh, your pricing calculation right so the pricing you are uh, the uh, suppose you created sales order or delivery either with reference to order or delivery you are creating the um, your prices right uh, base price and you know other discounts in the similar way for vendor also like either fixed cost or else uh, percentage here different kind of condition types will be there for your shipment cost calculation Okay, so it can be based on kilometers. It can be based on, you know, the kind of vehicle, what they have arranged, okay? It can be like, you know, hourly basis. Depends on different uh, scenarios will be there. It's not like your regular pricing. It has a learning. It has a depth actually in real time. So the here we'll call the scales as three dimensional scales. We'll look into that in further. Calculate the shipment cost and assign the cost to FI. Transfer the cost to FI to CO controlling actually. Settle the cost with forwarding agent. Why we require controlling? Maybe cost center. Like uh, your vendor is not your regular uh, employee or else uh, regular customer, right? So then um, vendors keep on changing for the same transaction. Drivers keep on changing. So you need to settle down. For that you require either internal or external cost center depends on the scenario. For each shipment, one shipment document can be generated, okay? It is not a shipment document, shipment cost document. Minimum, it should be generated. So, so I think you have some brief about theoretically. See, it's all about money, right? From where we are sending the vehicle, from plant to the customer, or plant to warehouse, or plant to plant. Okay, first question. Second thing is that, why we are doing this one? Like, you know, to drop the shipment. Third, okay, who is doing this one? Forwarding agent and drivers or else carrier or your vehicle truck or else plane or something like that okay so you must have all these questions okay after doing what is the end result you have to pay to your forwarding agent or carrier service or whatever you call it as okay so this is all about shipment cost calculation brief actually in next session we'll see what is tariff zones actually so we'll get into this. We'll create a, like how we have discussed about a shipment document in the similar way, we'll see the sample scenario. After that, you can try, you can practice. No one is going to do the, you know, spoon feeding for, for everything actually. You have to apply your mind and you have to ask the doubts and you have to do your own research actually. So if some faculty is available, it doesn't mean that, you know, he is not going to do everything. In real time, what will you do? All scenarios I explained, in real time, you may come across different things. Okay, don't expect each and everything in the session. Learn the basics perfectly so that you know you can work anywhere. Okay, thank you. This is only for beginners. Have a great day.